So if you want to introduce yourself and talk about why the school is so important to you and why the children are so important to you. Okay, well, my name is Daniel Montalvo. I am the principal of Chinoche Seventh-day Adventist Primary School. And, um, well, I love to do this job. And I believe it's a call I have to serve children of my community, which is one of the most important, and I believe it's a unique service that we give to, to people. And I know that our children are very, very happy knowing that um, we can serve them and the type of service that we provide to them, we make ourselves friends to them and make our school a friendly environment for them. We, we teach the children to love each other, treat each other with kindness, uh, because we want to be the role models to them first. You know, that's one of the priorities we have as teachers, to be a role model to them. In, in all aspects, we try to show them uh, the reality of what is being a, a nice person. So I believe our children are very happy to be here in our school. It's a challenge for, for us to, to keep our school growing. Uh, the physical aspect is very important. So we are trying in all angles to find our way best how to, to do things. You know, and I know that, um, well, the people, the community, they are happy to see our school growing. We have been existing for 12 years right now as a school. You know, and the, the growth that we have had, had impacted the, the community because um, we have had the, the assistance of community members assisting the church giving us their assistance you know the full support of our church and other people who come around and see the, the growth you know they have been able to help us in any little aspect we welcome all the the, the, the helps that they give us so um, so I'm happy to, to be here working in my community, working with my children, you know, which is one of the most important aspects that I see about service. You know, so I think um, the call that we have is from God. And if God has called us, because he expects us to give the best of, our, of what we have. And you know that, um, I know that what we have is nothing but only through God that we can do things. And I recall a little parable that I usually read that says about the parable of a pencil. Now the most important part of a pencil is what it has within itself. And that's what we have, and that's the most important thing. The pencil without the inside part is just nothing, can serve. So I think what is most important is what we have within ourselves, to take out in the service of little ones, you know, touching those little hearts. You know, and showing them, guiding them to, to be good citizens in their communities, you know, and which is the, the priority we want to focus to train them to be a persons of good service, you know, be able to be helpful out there when we come out from school, they can be of good service out in the community. You know, I think that's one of the most important aspects that we try to, to put on them, you know, try to instill that in them. You know, through, as I mentioned before, being role models to them. Because that's one of the things you usually tell the teachers, you know, we need to be very good role models to our children. Because that's the best way to teach them. There's no other way. You know, we try to show them what is it. And I think our children have been really, really, um, they have been really, really good to be in school. You know, we have, we feel that the children are, are motivated to be in school. So we try to make them feel that the environment uh, is one that will welcome them to school. You know, and the teachers to be a um, person that would attract the children for them to be willing to come to school. Right, so I know that our children are very happy. We get to engage them into different activities. Um, and one of the most important things that I see about the children is that we have even special children in our school. And our teachers are, are engaged in assisting those children in what they could. You know, we have children in different classrooms that are special children. And um, even the parents, they, they don't fear of, of sending them to our school because they know that, well, we can treat those children equally as any other child. And we teach the other children that these children, they, they are the ones to protect them, to 
help them, to socialize with them, and feel them welcome in the environment. You know, and those parents, even those children, uh, they, they feel themselves equal here. They have all the opportunities as any other children. And we try to get activities where all of them can be engaged. You know, they don't feel out, you know, even in the classroom, out of the classroom. So I think that those, those are some of the things that, well, has helped us a lot, you know, to, to grow as a school. Um, as I said, well, we, we are trying our best in all aspects to make our environment look good, you know, make it as safety as it's good for the children. Because um, the way how we started, that I could recall how we started, uh, it was a blessing. We started this room. Five years it was left without being nothing done. We started it. We thought that it would never finish. Uh, we got some church members got together and said, well, we have to do something about this building. So we decided to put hands together and uh, last year, we finished up five classrooms completed to be here because we decided it's time for us to move. And last year was the first year we moved to this environment, right? And it's because of the help that was given to us, you know, by friends coming out, you know, friends who come in from, from the U.S., some other friends have come in and they have given us a little help, and it has been a great for us, great help. So, um, well, this year we try to make up some more, and uh, well, today I feel more rejoicing because um, we have some more help reaching to us. And I know that um, God has been answering our prayers. Um, we have been praying a lot on ways how we can make our school grow, continue improving. And um, well, today I'm very happy because um, we have a group here who came. Uh, today and they are working on fixing the floors of the classrooms and they are helping us in other aspects and I know that that's the that's that's one of the, the best things that can happen to us today as a school so I really really am happy about it and I hope that um, God would help us to give the the best service all the time everything it's for our children Right, so I don't know if you have any other questions. That's beautiful. That's so perfect. 